Hey guys, we got a 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan here with the rear disc brakes and the e-brake cables. We'll show you how to do those e-brake cables uh, easily. There's our new caliper there. We've detached it from the mounting bracket that it came with. And uh, all we've done so far is take the tire raw, 19 millimeter lug nuts, no worries. I loosened up the two 13 millimeter bolts right here and here. All right, so what we want to do is look at that e-brake cable. On the back of the caliper, there's a 13 millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and hook onto that with our ratchet, lefty, not lefty loosey, we're gonna go righty tighty with this side, and that's gonna push back. Oh, yeah. We wanna get that nut off. So we went righty tighty to kinda get it to, uh, break free, separate the cable from the lever it's on. And I'll give you a closer look here in a bit. All right, it's moving back and forth good now. Now we're gonna take the nut off. Uh, we're changing the caliper. So we don't really care how much we disassemble this caliper. This isn't really disassembling it, it's just, just taking a little piece off back there. We'll go over to our flathead screwdriver and pop this spring off. If you're using remanufactured, just include all the hardware in the box so you can get your core price back. Just pop that spring right off, easy peasy. Now we're gonna pry this plate off the back. And it is lined, so sometimes they don't really like to come off. Try to get the screwdriver in between there and get it to budge. Come on, baby. Maybe we'll grab a hammer or a pry bar. Yeah, usually not this tough to take off, but this one's kind of rotted. There we go, that's a lot easier taking the hammer to it. Well, let's take a peek. Back here, we got this off. Came right off of there. There's splines and they're all rusty. And then this little guy just comes right off of the e-brake cable. Easy. So we got our little lever off. We'll keep that and throw it in the core box. And then just drop my screwdriver. All right, now we want to get this e-brake cable off of this caliper. We'll grab our screwdriver and press down on these little tabs. I'll show you the little tabs. I want to show you how to do this with no special tools or anything. And these little guys can be pesky sometimes. We're pulling back on the e-brake cable and pinching down each one of them tabs. To try to get it to come out. I think I only got one tab left. Ah, it doesn't want to come out. And that's okay. Let's get a little more uh, leverage on it. Bye. Loosening the caliper, got those two 13 mils out. We'll take our screwdriver and just pry this caliper out like, like so, boom. All right, now our e-brake cable will kind of spin for us a little. And this is the pesky part, is trying to get all those little clips with just your screwdriver working for you. Those little tabs, I believe there's three or four of them right there. That's what locks it in. Let's take the sweater off. Be kind of toasty now that I'm moving them around again. So we want to kind of use the leverage of the caliper so that that e-brake cable is being pulled. There we go. 
but we got it off. There's our caliper. Try not to let it hang from the brake hose. We're gonna take this wheel speed sensor, a little hold down, just get it out of there for now. That'll give us a little more flex later. All right, so now our e-brake cable is off. And uh, these are brand new pads. Only had to put them on so I could pull it out of the garage and work on it another day, get the calipers in. Let's grab our 18 millimeter half inch ratchet. You might need a bar on the end of it. And take these off. Ooh, see they're on there. They call me little hammer fists around here. Better than a breaker bar. Beautiful. Alright, so we get our mounting bracket out of the way. The caliper came with a mounting bracket. So we're going to exchange our pads and new hardware over to the mounting bracket. Now, if you got a new caliper with mounting bracket, they should be pre-greased on the slider hardware. These right here, they come out of there. We're gonna exchange these uh, pads in this hardware over to the new bracket. Those are brand new. Let's grab our rotor off of here. If your rotor won't come off, give it a few taps right here. This one isn't. Oh well, we'll get it off of there. Bigger hammer helps. All right guys, all prepped up and back at it. Let's take our caliper here. And what we're gonna do is hook it in the e-brake cable. We're hooked in. And then we pull on the caliper. and pull it over. See, there's that little opening. It'll go through that cable slot. Super easy. And then let it come back and clip in to the little clippies on the e-brake cable. Boom. Super easy. No special tools. Bada boom. All right, now we want to get everything put together. Caliper's hanging again. Stay over there, caliper. All right, now we got to exchange the brake hose over. But before we do that, I like to get everything all set up. So we're going to grab our two big bolts and our new mounting bracket that came with the caliper. And we're going to get that in there. Now that rotor came off really easy with the big hammer. Two quick, two quick little fast pulses of a hammer blow came right off. Oh, got it backwards. There we go. Well, looking at what I was doing. All right. Let's line them up. Go. there's one bolt started it helps if your rotor is straight You're not flopping all over the place these are going in nice and easy by hand so that's pretty cool that's always nice push your rotor straight Push your pads in. And now tighten her down. Nice and tight. Ah. 
This is good bourbon. All right. Rotor straight. Pads clenched. Uh, a little bit of grease. Whenever I'm greasing things on pads, brakes, I use AGS Sil Glide brake lube. We put a little bit of that inside of our slide pans, a little bit of that on the ears of our brake pads so they don't rust as fast in the future because we are in the salt belt. It just really helps in the long run. Put a little bit on the surface and the claws, just a thin film of where it's going to contact the brake pads. Pop this guy over. Make sure your rotor stays straight. Line it up with the sliding hardware. Grab your two new bolts that came with the caliper. Get them started in. And they could be 14 or they could be 13 millimeter. It kind of goes back and forth. I don't know why, it just does. These are really pesky style because they're really flat. Kind of annoying. And sometimes your hardware spins. So you put your 15 millimeter wrench to hold down the sliding hardware. Tighten this side up. There we go. They're small bolts. So don't snap them off. Get them nice and tight, but don't snap them. You guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, now we are ready for a couple of things. This bleeder on this one's 11 millimeter. Go ahead and just get that loosened up right now. After everything's said and done, you'll bleed your brakes. There's lots of videos on brake bleeding if you don't know how to do it already. And uh, we're not going to have to bleed very long because the only air that's getting in is what's inside the caliper. We got our banjo bolt that goes here. It came with a new one, of course. And uh, here's our banjo bolt for this one. And that guy is big. Why is that one so big on this side? Let's grab a socket. Let's try 15. 15's perfect. And what I like to use is the impact for these. Just to take them out. Do not put them in with the impact. So we're just gonna zip this guy out. <gasps> go. Banjo bolts out. There's copper washers on both sides. Make sure the copper washer isn't stuck to this. Clean it up if it's real rusty. Same thing with your hub surface. Now we grab our new banjo bolt that came with the caliper. We got one copper washer on there. We'll put it in. Other copper washer, squish washer, goes on the other end. Ah! Make sure it's nice and clean. Ah! Uh, this is kind of an awkward brake hose. To get started. I cannot get it to catch threads. There we go. Now it's threading in. It goes in the same blocky way that it came out from the old caliper. Make a note of that. And what size do we got here? 11 millimeter? Where is our ratchet? There it is, 11 millimeter. Now do not over torque these. 
You want it tight enough that the copper seals squish and seal. Now we can put our wheel speed sensor wiring harness back in its little clips. And we are all done except for bleeding the brakes. So what we're gonna do is uh, start pumping the brake pedal that'll get the juices flowing and uh, bleed the brakes, close off the valves after all the air is out, bleeder valves, and uh, pump the pedal a good five, 10 times to make sure the piston's seated on the pads. Uh, check and make sure the brakes are working good, throw the tire back on and uh, take it for a test drive. But that's changing the caliper on a Dodge Caravan. Thanks for watching guys. Drop a like if this helped. I appreciate you.